Today on Fat Man Makes Ponagachi series, we are going to take a look at the UPS light installation and configuration. Be sure to enter the Ponagachi contest. All you need to do is send me a pawn mail, see the description for details. Also, make sure that you click subscribe and ring that bell so you get notifications of upcoming videos and more details on the contest. All right, so uh, today we're going to talk about the the UPS light, right? So in the box comes in this nice bag here. Um, so this is the unit. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, one thing that I want to mention is you can see all these solder points here, and there's a couple over here. Uh, that's for the switch. The ones in the the ones over here are actually the positive and negative, and then these here are all the pins. And then here we have the ground to the USB. So all of these are exposed, and you know that's a potential for a short. So you, the first thing you probably want to do is make sure that you insulate them. So the easiest way to to do that would be. Um, to use some Kapton tape. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a big piece with me, so I would probably just do the whole bottom of the board. But real quick, we're just going to quickly insulate the exposed stuff here. All right, so now that we have this insulated and we're not going to short anything out, we can uh, we can get into it. So there's the USB charging port on this side. The on/off switch is right here on this side, um, and then these pins here. I don't know if you can see that they're actually they're spring loaded. And um, that's what makes the connection to your, uh, well, in this case, the Ponagachi. Um, but it would sit like this. And those pins, those pins are supposed to press on the solder joints of the header pin. And that's how it makes a connection. And then you have nuts that you tighten down to keep tension on everything so um, if you guys recall from the last video this is the Slimagachi Ponagachi that I just built and one of the things we did to save some time was not solder every single one of these pins so uh, right off the bat that's going to be an issue because it utilizes those standoffs to, uh, to make the connection and I already threw it on there to test and it almost barely makes a connection but not quite so you can't really get any tension on that so the first thing we're gonna have to do is identify the pins here and at least put a back pin in um, and then that way it the springs have something to push on to, to give you some tension. So uh, that's the first thing we're going to do. Fire up the soldering iron. All right, and let's not make the same mistake twice, right? We're going to make sure we insert it correctly. Grab some solder here. I tend to like to work, you know, inside out or outside in, but you just want to throw a little heat on it 
pin. Pin should suck up the heat. And the solder should make a nice little pool. We'll just trim that guy back. And we'll follow the same procedure for the next four pins. Cue the fast forward. Doesn't look too bad. Clean it up with a pair of cutoffs. All right, and then we just need to separate the board. Install the UPS light. Try and get it on nice and even. give you these nuts and they're not easy to start. Sometimes they get on there a little crooked. And you have to spin them backwards for a quarter turn or so to make sure the threads catch. But you don't want to cross thread those guys. Alright, we're just going to tighten down on them. Give each one a little turn. Try and do it fairly evenly. this side there should be a little should feel a little more tension because because of the spring loaded so once you have everything snugged up okay and we'll put the screen back on Realign up the pins correctly. And then turn the switch. You have a red light here showing that it's on. And we can see the LED flickering, meaning it's booting. So. Give it a couple seconds and see what happens. All right, it looks like it's clearing the screen. That's a good sign. And there we go. Konogachi is online. Running on the UPS light. So,
next thing we need to do is install the plug-in and make sure that we can get the battery indicator working. So we'll do that next. Let's uh, shut it down for now and take a look at the config. Okay, so the last thing that we need to do is we need to enable the UPS light plugin. So in this area here, we would get uh, the battery indicator. Um, so by default, there is, where is it? There is a UPS light toggle here. And if you toggle that to enable, it only works during that one current session. It will enable the plugin. It's not persistent. So on a reboot, that would go away. And you also can't edit the web config to enable this plugin. It's, it's not in the default web configuration at all. So you have to manually edit your, your config file to do that. Now at this point, depending on whether you had auto updates enabled or not, you could be running a YAML configuration or you could be running a TOML configuration. As I've said in my previous videos, um, I disable automatic updates. This specific uh, device is still running YAML, so we want to do a sudo nano and point to the config file. So Etsy Ponagachi config.yaml enter all right and then you need to add this configuration within the the plugins so if we scroll down here we see main custom plugins and then here's our plugin container and then this is every single plugin should be listed here um, at this for space location. So um, when I added it to this configuration, I added it alphabetically. So we need to go down to U. So here's the configuration. This is what you need to add right here. And um, again, assuming that you enabled the web config and you have this standardized format, it is for spaces over one two three four spaces over you type in ups underscore light colon and then hit enter for a new line and then uh, the enable is six spaces over so one two three four five six and then it's enabled colon space and then true and that's it these two lines is what you need to enter in your configuration to enable the UPS light plugin you do a control X and then a Y to save and an enter to save it to that file obviously I didn't make any changes to this so it just exited and once we do that it should automatically reboot um, the Ponagachi service if it doesn't you can run this command here Obviously, you need to preface that with sudo. And we'll just do it to make sure it reboots. Or, I'm sorry, it restarts the service. And we'll hit refresh. There we go. And now we see we have the UPS with a percentage of the battery. And that shows that the plugin is working. And that's it. That's all it takes. Thank you.